Hello there, Veena here from digitalaccesspass.com. In this video, I'll show you how you can protect your WordPress content, your WordPress pages, posts to DAP directly from within your WordPress admin dashboard without having to log in to the DAP backend to the DAP content responder tab. So all you have to do is publish the page or the post and then in the page or post editor, you're going to notice this uh, little meta box that will allow you to protect the content to DAP directly. So just click on click to protect content button and uh, it will show you the page or post that you're trying to protect. And then you can select all the products under which this content should be protected. It could be one or more products. If you just want to protect this content under a specific product, just select that. Now these are all the products that I have defined uh, in my DAP uh, test site. So that's why it's showing it here. So you can select one or more products here and the link text is just the friendly text that's going to appear on the my content page you can change it to anything you want display on the my content page if you want this uh, content to be displayed in the available content area of your my content page leave it as uh, yes if you want to hide it set it to no and then the drip setting if you want it to uh, appear on day one right after they sign up for that product then uh, leave it as day one and uh, if you want a specific drip setting, for example, if you want it to appear, say, on day seven, then just set the start date to day seven. And uh, if you don't want the day-based dripping, but you want date-based dripping, then just empty out these and then just select this little calendar icon there and it will allow you to select the date range. So set the start and end date for dripping. Now, after you select it, all you have to do is click on protect content and uh, you will notice here the list of all the products under which this content is now protected. Now you can also update the drip setting here. So say that uh, under a specific product the drip setting is set to 1 but you want to change it to say 5 or 7. So just change it there and click on this little button icon here and uh, it will update it drip setting is updated and uh, if you want to delete the content protection from a certain product just click on this little trash icon here and it will remove it now if you want to update the drip setting of this content under a specific product then if it's just the drip start day you can do it right here but if it's something else just click on this editor icon and uh, you can update it here for example Say that you want to change this to date-based dripping, then just select the start date, select the end date, and then click on protect content. And you will notice that now this content is set to drip under this product using date-based dripping. So it's set to uh, drip from this date and uh, under this product using day-based dripping. The product names that's displayed here, these are all hyperlinks and they point to your uh, DAP products page. So if you click on it, it will bring you to that product in DAP. And uh, you can go to the content responder tab of that product and you will notice that the same content will appear there with the same drip setting that you used in uh, WordPress for that content. So here this content is set to drip under example one time product uh, starting start date of uh, April 2nd. So if I go to the DAP products page content responder tab uh, for the example one time product it is uh, showing the same date. So it's just easier and faster because you can now protect everything in WordPress you don't have to log into DAP admin uh, just to protect content.